it'll be good. I've already seen it, and I know it's fabulous. I love the show. I love Neil Simon, so I'm really looking forward to a great time. You can expect to be carried away, very romantic evening. I know I'm going to see Bernadette Peters and Martin Short being brilliant. Yeah. What do you both hope will happen on stage tonight? What are you looking forward Magic. to? Magic. 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 Yes, and what are you looking for? Bernadette Peters I'm looking for. Yeah. That's why I'm here, yes. <laughs> It's live from Broadway. A special two-hour opening night salute to Neil Simon's The Goodbye Girl. Live from Broadway is brought to you in part by the American Express card. Don't leave home without it. By Mitsubishi, the word is getting around. And by Thomas's English Muffins, there's a baker behind every nook and cranny. And now, here's your host for the evening, Pat Collins. Welcome to the opening night of the Goodbye Girl. The first act curtain is just about to come down on this, Neil Simon's 27th Broadway show. It is a $7 million musical comedy with Bernadette Peters and Martin Short, and they're playing the roles that Richard Dreyfuss and Marsha Mason played in the movie. Now, the movie was back in 1977, so let me refresh your memory about the plot. It's about a young, struggling New York actor, is there any other kind, who falls in love with the jilted ex-dancer. Now, we've asked some members of the audience to give you more of the story. Paula and her daughter Lucy live in an apartment with a man in New York who was an actor. Well, after Tony becomes a star, they'll be saying, there goes Tony DeForest's daughter. Yeah, except he's not really my father. Not yet. She has a, a history of being left by men. What's wrong? He's gone. He left without us. For California? For Spain. People are always saying goodbye to her, and uh, finally, Elliot comes into her life. Who is it? Elliot Garfield. Who? Elliot Garfield. From Chicago. He's all set to go in and claim this apartment that his friend has left for him to come to New York and start a career. I just sublet this apartment from a friend of mine, Tony DeForest. Look, I have a receipt right here. So she negotiates with Elliot, who's the new sublet, uh, to share the apartment with him. You will be working nights. If God is merciful, we'll never bump into each other. Get your bags. You get the small bedroom. Well, in the beginning, they're very on each other's nerves the entire time. But after a while, they get to realize it's not too bad living together. You get the feeling something's starting between us? Listen, maybe I misjudged you. Maybe you're not as totally weird as I thought. She's seen it all before. She doesn't want to get involved with yet another actor. Oh, God. Are you OK? I can't help it. I'm a sucker for romance. Lucy was worried at first because she didn't want her mom to get hurt again. Is there any hope for the afternoon? Lucy's feeling a little tired. She didn't sleep well last night. I guess no one did. She really wanted him to be her dad. The ending is just something that everybody has got to see. It's a great, fantastic, feel-good ending. Richard Dreyfuss won an Academy Award for The Goodbye Girl, and the little girl in the movie was named Quinn Cummings. She was about nine years old at the time the movie was made. Well, we caught up with Quinn in Hollywood, and Richard, who's on location in Vancouver making a movie, and they talked about the movie that's now a musical. People have asked me for 15 years, what's your favorite film? And I always say The Goodbye Girl, because it was perfect in the sense that we worked perfect hours, we liked each other, we were relaxed and creative, and we loved the material. I'm paying the rent, I will make it a route. I like to take showers every morning and I don't like the panties drying on the rod. I like to cook, so I will use the kitchen whenever I damn well please, and I am very particular about my condiments, so keep this all together to yourself. Neil had written a character who I liked so much I wanted to be him rather than Richard. I remember that Richard Dreyfuss said to me after he won the Academy Award, I think he was probably the youngest actor ever to win an Academy Award, 
Uh, he said, I'd love to play Elliot Garfield for the rest of my life. Are we invited to the opening? You really want to come? The two of you, it's Tuesday night. Tuesday's a school night. We went to Tony's opening on a school night. I said no. I know that it was a happy set. Night. You can't hide those things from a kid. Kids pick up on emotions a lot faster. And I think if these people had felt anything but, but amity, I would have known. Do me the courtesy of hearing me out, please. You are not the only one who can scream rape, you know? Do me the courtesy of hearing me out, will you? You're not the only one who can yell rape, you know? Part of me is right. so We're in a bind. totally I jealous accept. of the experience that Marty Short is having what? going to I him. Accept. Part of me wants to make sure with a baseball bat that no one appropriates this role. And at the same time, I think it's thrilling. I think it's a natch. You know? This is a natch idea. It's the it music of the Bond girl. Why didn't they do this a long time ago? I think it's great. It is intermission at the Goodbye Girl, the opening night audience has already seen the first act. Among those first nighters is Carol Channy, and we're going right to the top for a quick review from Carol Channy. Carol, uh, honestly, what did you think? It, it, well, of course, opening night anyway has electricity, don't you think, Pat? And, and nervousness, too. And nervousness, yeah. too. And they're both as solid as they can be. We all know Bernadette sings and dances gloriously. But well, what did you think about Marty Short? Isn't he wonderful? And he's funny. Every move of his body's funny. And he, wasn't he a surprise? Did you think Martin Short, would he be able to do this? No, I didn't. No, you I thought he know. could. Yeah, it's a big surprise. And he's it's an overnight surprise. surprise star, it isn't is. he? It is. But they're wonderful. And it's terribly funny. Isn't it terribly funny? I think some of those lines in the first act, we don't want to give them away, but no. they're terrific. Now, well, it's Neil Simon. Yes, it's, it's Neil. Yes, <laughs> yeah, it can't get better than that. Yeah. I don't think of you as being nervous at all. But hark back for me to the opening night of Hello, Dolly. Were you nervous? Oh, well, you see, the trouble is that you do get nervous over every show. Every show. So opening night, it couldn't be worse. I think, Pat, it's like people tell me when they're in an airplane crash <laughs> and they okay. it's certain death. There, I think, that, you know, suddenly you think, what did I do with my bobby pins? Or what did I do with the front door key? That nature makes it so that you can't fathom it. You're walking over a cliff, and, and, and nature protects you that way. All you can think is to wait eight bars of music and go on and start. You know, and, and you, you, how they're holding themselves is beautifully tonight. We're going to share it with the audience, Carol, a number that you've already seen. This is a number that... It Curse in the first act, yeah. and uh, uh, Marty Short as Elliot Garfield is putting down, he's putting his foot down, and these are his rules that he's stating to Bernadette Peters, and the name of it is called Elliot Garfield Grant. So he, take it away, Marty. Yes. Carol. My rules are curt. Just follow them, and no one will get hurt. No. No. I'm not happy with the arrangements. <laughs> hey. Don't speak. I need your attention. I'm not gonna say this twice. I'm your landlord. And this piece of paper says you gotta treat me nice. Lady, I'm the one with the rule book. Who'll say what you can do or can't. Tell you're living on an Elliot Garfield, an Elliot Garfield grant. God love him. You're living on an Elliot Garfield, an Elliot Garfield grant. I hate and overheated habitats of gravitas who leave the thermostat to me. I always sleep completely naked, but for winter, open winter, spring to fall. So if you care to spare your daughter a reluctant introduction to anatomy, I'd bolt my door at night and keep that precious kid of yours from wandering the hall. You have a chip on your shoulder the size of the Empire State. Call your charm school and ask for a refund while I hyperventilate. Get a booster shot for distemper. Then try not to rave and to rant. Lamb chop your an Elliot Garfield, an Elliot Garfield grant. Mr. Nice Guy, you're living on an Elliot Garfield, an Elliot Garfield grant. Don't thank me. You're living on an Elliot Garfield, Elliot Garfield <laughs> Oh,
before a show arrives on Broadway, it goes out of town to work out its problems. And to be really honest with you, the Goodbye Girl had some problems. So they went to Chicago and they opened there over the holidays. And our cameras were there on opening night in Chicago. My kind of town, Chicago is. My kind of town, Chicago is. Not ready, my hair, not ready. Big Marty short pants, too. <laughs> People who smile at you. Neil Simon, I thought this was a line for Cubs tickets. My kind of town, Chicago is. Bernadette Peters' voice is fabulous. Marvin Hamlet is a genius. And Martin Short stole the, stole the whole show. It was great. Martin Short was made for the part. <laughs> I think the best part was Bernadette Peters' voice. It was beautiful. See, I got Neil Simon's autograph. <laughs> time I leave Chicago is in my sleeve Chicago is. I mean, I love Chicago, so I was glad to be here for the holidays and, uh, um, it's a good idea, I think, before New York to come here because there is a sophistication that, that happens here. A show, when you're out of town, you don't want to leave too fast. You, having five, six weeks in one place is a great thing. It allows the actors to get used to the show. It allows everyone. It, it allows it to just settle in. I never feel anymore in the last 20 years that audiences are different anywhere. If they don't laugh in San Diego, they're not going to laugh in New York. Chicago Tribune, the Goodbye Girl is a bumpy, busy muddle. Major changes already are scheduled. It will certainly be a different and one hopes better production as time goes on. But the Chicago Sun-Times says it's the work of the veteran craftsmen who have deployed the particular qualities of their stars to great advantage. And Variety says there's some good news on the way to Broadway, and it's called the Goodbye Girl. This Neil Simon, Marvin Hamlish, David Zippo tuna is decidedly old-fashioned. Maybe too much so for some, but it works remarkably well. The show is different than the one that was in Chicago, and it is better than the show that was in Chicago. Neil Simon wrote... 104 new pages of script. Marvin Hamlish, the composer, wrote an entirely different opening number. They fired one director, hired another director, but it's all part of the process that brings us to opening night. And we'll have more of our opening night coverage of The Goodbye Girl right after these messages. This is Off to Rehearsals with Bernadette Peters. Look at her with the long the Madonna and the Todd. Nineteen thousand runners running against themselves and running against the clock. This is the race for everyone. Just trying to get to the finish line. Sunday at noon on Channel 9. I think we were successful because we have a covert understanding of women. You know, there should be some celebration of women somewhere. I go into tribes and their notions of beauty just leave me breathless. Where women my age are considered sexy because we carry with us wisdom. I spend six months a year traveling, living in these communities, looking for ingredients. For me, there's a facility in American Express that just makes me sleep a bit better. American Express is welcomed at the body shop and other places that are good for your soul. Ladies and gentlemen, the New York State Lotto Jackpot is now... Ten million dollars! of a 
over 80 internationally patented ideas in the Mitsubishi Diamante ES. For just $1,000 down and as little as $2.99 a month, never has the cost of progress been so easy to live with. The Diamante ES lease from Mitsubishi. with Gwen Verdon. Let me change that. The wonderful Gwen Verdon, the star of so many shows that we have such great fond memories of, including Sweet Charity, which you did with Neil Simon. Yes. But Gwen, tonight backstage, before the curtain went up, there was a ritual backstage, something the public never sees, but you've been part of many times, and it's called the Gypsy Robe Rose. Ceremony, and named Gypsy because Broadway dancers are called gypsies. Yes. Can you give us a little inside? What goes on backstage? What's, it sounds very secretive and special. Well, uh, it is not really secretive. You have to be not the oldest gypsy, not the oldest dancer, but you have to have done more shows than anybody else. And when you've done that, then you are eligible for the robe. And you have to run around the stage three times, and everybody that has received it in every show, you have to add something of your show to the robe. When I got it in Can Can, we added the white bloomers that we wore on our Can Can dress. When Crazy For You got it, they added all uh, rhinestones, because they're, you know, the whole show is sort of filled with rhinestones. And it's a great honor to receive it. It means that you fit in more Broadway shows than anybody else in that company in that company yes and running around the stage three times counterclockwise is that for good luck I think I keep so. the adrenaline going i think it's all part of the ritual that you never whistle backstage all those things all that's part of the sort of superstition now gwen burden has never been out of shape in her life but the rest of us who have spent most of our lives out of shape can identify with Paula, the character played by Bernadette Peters oh, in, in, this, in this musical comedy. Oh. Because here she is now, she needs to go back to work. She hasn't danced since the year of the flood. And she goes to the tryouts for a show, and everyone else is in great shape, and she's in terrible shape. So this is the musical number, the rehearsal of A Beat Behind with yes. Bernadette Peters. Yes. Thanks. Hi. 